Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. And I'm Steve. Another Northern Brewer kit. Yes. So this time, this is the Dead Ringer. And um, I guess it was news to me, and I think it was news to you. I didn't know. This is uh, American, I mean, I, uh, Michigan staple beer or style. Never had it. Yep. <laughs> so um, this has 11 pounds of two row, one pound of caramel, 40. Pretty simple. Yeah. Not a lot to it. Easy. And it looks like the hops are pretty simple too. Yep. Centennial. Yep. All the way through. Yep. 0.75 Centennial at 60, one ounce at 20, two ounces at five, dry hopped Centennial um, two weeks before bottling. One to two weeks. Uh, I'm almost thinking, do you, you don't think this might be a replica of Too Hearted, do you? I wonder. Because I'm looking at, I know the Too Hearted grain bill is pretty simple. And I know that all they use is Centennial. Could I be. wonder. I wonder if that's, uh, huh, I don't know. It, it can't be the same because Bell's has their own yeast. But yeah. still, it'd be, uh, it'd be interesting to see. It'll, it'll be a good uh, good test. Maybe what we should do is grab some Too Hearted when we try this thing. Yeah. And almost do a, a double fisted showdown. I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. Okay. So, but obviously the Centennial is going to give off citrus flavors over piney and stuff like that. Yep. Very good dual purpose hop. Right. Yep. So, because it's a standard thing, do we add like a citra hop or maybe a hop that we haven't used? Or because we want to see how close it is to Two Hearted, do we just keep it like it is and do a double fisted showdown of this versus Two Hearted? We'll just have to remember by the time you brew this yeah. to do a double fisted showdown. Right. Um, yeah, we could go either way. Uh, either we're going to do that, or if we're going to use a hop, it'd be great to see what happens when you throw a citra in near the end. Right. Right. Um, or uh, maybe a hop that we don't really use a lot, you know, because there's hops even at Bell's, our local homebrew store, that have a citrus flavor that I've never used. Yeah. So maybe we can go that route or... Or maybe uh, I'll duplicate the recipe and we'll just uh, brew two and uh, we'll do both. Double fisted and then we'll do one with a weird hop addition. Hop in there. Or, because, or. <laughs> yeah, or, um, and this will come soon, I'm putting together another kegerator, um, and it could have two and a half gallon kegs. I could take, you know, we could brew the recipe as five gallons, but split it. And then dry hop one. Dry hop one of them. And, you know, with Citra, let's just say, and see what the difference is there, then we could do the double-fisted showdown. So I'm guessing you would brew it, ferment out. Correct. Keg half, dry hop the other half. Right. For another week or two and then keg that Yep. One. Okay. Yeah, you could do that. So you would take both of the 2.5 gallon kegs, or like you said... We have the grain bill. We know what the hops are. If we do two five gallons and we take the one and do whatever with it, sure. a double fisted showdown plus an extra. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just have to see if our schedules line up. Right. You know, I got that extra kid now. Yep. <laughs> but you're up to me, so you should be good. I don't know. <laughs> Mine's not sleeping. Yours is. <laughs> no, that's fine. But um, have you guys made this Den Ring Dead Ringer from Northern Brew? If you have, leave a comment. Tell us what you guys did. Did you make it the same? Or have you guys had Bell's Too Hearted? Does it taste like that? Leave us a comment. Let us know. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time.